Hey everybody, welcome back to Marcus's Magic Reviews. Today on the show we have Quiver Plus by Calvin Chow and Glitch Studios. Okay, what is Quiver Plus? Well, Quiver Plus is the big brother to the original Quiver purse. Now this is a coin purse that it can do uh, switches and that's really what it does best. You can switch coins, you can switch billets, you can switch out virtually anything that will fit inside the Quiver Plus wallet. Obviously the Quiver Plus is a slightly bigger size than the Quiver wallet. Uh, I don't have a Quiver, but uh, I will show you in a moment the Quiver Plus itself. What do you get inside the box if you go out and buy a Quiver Plus today? Well, inside this box, you're gonna get, well, you're first of all, you're gonna get the box, but you're also going to get the Quiver purse, okay? And you're going to get some instructions that teach you how to use the Quiver purse. And it just opens like that. You can see the inside. And it is genuine leather, well-made, good quality. Okay, what's Quiver Plus gonna set you back? Well, Quiver Plus retails in the store for $49.99 USD, so United States dollars. The uh, uh, Quiver, the smaller version, retails for $39.99 US. Okay, let's talk about a couple of the pros here with the Quiver Plus wallet. First of all, the first, Pro is that this is probably unequivocally right now considered to be the best coin purse wallet on the market. It has a very easy and convenient um, switch mechanism that is simplistic in nature but really really works quite well. Pro number two, this is a nice good quality coin purse. It's not a cheap a coin purse or an old looking coin purse with the little clasps on the top, something that you might see in the 80s or the 90s. This is a coin purse for a more modern time, okay? Now, um, it is leather, so you can tell it is uh, real leather. It has the leather smell, so it is good quality. It doesn't, it, it handles abuse quite well, even though you should always be gentle with your magic products. The clasps uh, with the, um, that open, uh, on the opening of the, the wallet seem like they're good quality as well and I've had no problems and I've had it for quite a while now. Pro number three, you can use uh, various kinds of objects that are going to fit nicely inside of the coin purse. So obviously coins and then anything from that point down in thickness. Uh, we're talking about billets, bills, cards, anything of that nature. Okay, let's talk about the con that I found here with the Quiver Plus wallet. Even though it is the bigger version, it is the Quiver Plus, I still found it to be <sighs> not quite enough. And it's just because it's so good at what it does that I want it to do more than what it's designed to do. I wish the Quiver Plus was like the Quiver Extra Large, but then there's the drawbacks of that. You're carrying a much larger purse around. Does it look as good? Does it even look like a coin purse when it gets, starts getting too big? How big is too big? There's lots of questions, and it's almost as if they wanted to strike a balance. They knew they weren't going to be the be-all, end-all for every type of switch device, but they knew they wanted to focus on billets, cards, business cards, that type of thing, coins, and they knew they were gonna do it well. So if you wanna look at that as a con or not, sometimes I feel like I, it's just not big enough. I have a few big coins in there and it, it's looking a little too bulky. And I just wish it had another half inch and around diameter. Con number two, some people say this is an examinable wallet. I still would not hand this out for examination into the spectator's hands. Maybe someone who's drunk or someone who you know is going to just be, look at it one dimensionally, but I handed this out maybe once or twice and both times someone dug through it and were basically looking for some kind of secret pocket. So um, when I handed it out uh, to examine on the chance that it might pass in both instances, 
In one, the, the, the secret was discovered, and in the other, I was able to rescue the quiver before uh, it, went too, it went that far. Uh, so be very careful when handing this out. It does look very good, okay? But when things change or when a swap happens inside of a device or a wallet, a bag of some kind, people naturally are you know, looking at one or two things. You're looking at the object or you're looking at the bag. Okay, it's time for the five-star segment. Well, Quiver Plus is a great item. Everyone uses this. I mean, I know a lot of professional magicians who use the Quiver wallet. I buy a lot of magic and I review a lot of magic and I watch a lot of magic where Quiver can be utilized and I see Quiver used in other projects. Ah, the magician says, oh, if you have a Quiver wallet, here's what you can do. So the Quiver does open up a whole plethora of different doorways for you to walk through. And you're definitely gonna find situations, if you have a Quiver, where you go, wow, I didn't even realize I could use the quiver with this and holy cow, it makes this whole lot easier. Or um, this switch is now so simple. I no longer need to do a palm or anything. I can just use the quiver wallet and do a swap. So you really opens up a lot of, a, a lot of possibilities. So I, I, uh, I, I ask you, if you do have a quiver, you're thinking about getting it, please explore these different things and let me know in the comments, you know, the interesting ways that you come up with quiver. And don't forget folks, I am going to be doing shorts pretty soon where I talk about magic effects that I use everyday carries and how they can be used in conjunction with other effects that you may have or are thinking about getting and the cool ways that I've found to be using these effects and how they can be, um, how they can kind of complement each other. But we'll get around to that. So for Quiver Plus on the five star scale, where's it gonna land on the podium? Quiver Plus gets a 3.8 out of a possible five stars. It is a great project. I wish there was a little more in the instructions, a few more ideas. It does touch down on quite a bit of stuff and the video is good quality, so I'm not gonna hit the instructions too hard. Uh, like I said, there is a lot of possibilities with Quiver. A lot of magicians use Quiver. Everyone I know uses it and everyone I know agrees that it's an amazing project and it's an amazing product, but it's not quite perfect. There are some drawbacks. I've even had some friends say that theirs, um, that theirs were damaged. I can't speak to that, but just know that I went through the grapevine. So 3.8 out of a possible five stars. That's good for a silver medal on Mark's Magic Reviews. Let us know in the comments section if you agree or have anything to add about Quiver Plus, and don't forget to join us next time.